Hello there, Scorpio, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing all right out there. So Scorpio, let's go ahead and find out what Oracle messages come out for you and what you need to know about your current situation, okay? For Scorpio, let's see here. Hmm. Scorpio, you guys can do this. Start taking care of yourself and your boundaries. Some of you guys, you may need to, I, I don't know, I'm just saying you can do it. There, yeah, I feel a lot of you guys. There's about, this is about change, decisions, boundaries. Um, some of you, maybe something is out of balance right now, or you need to make room for something new. Maybe it's love or something that you guys are going to fall in love with. So be open to something new here, especially when it comes to your creative abilities, when it comes to matters of the heart, okay? Balance career and home life. And Archangel Michael is saying, Scorpio, you guys can do what you guys need to do. Be strong and courageous if you need to as well, okay? Some of you are being asked to let go of something or an idea, okay? So that we can be open to receiving, something very gentle something new jesus is here isis is here scorpio there's something that spirit wants you guys to <clears throat> take charge in your life so that you guys can uh, open up to something uh that has to do with love something that you will love or something you're going to fall in love or some someone you'll fall in love with but it is leading you to some type of fulfillment maybe even a very spiritual <clears throat> fulfillment okay with, um, you know, some of you guys, you know, being a service to others here, sharing your, you know, wise um, messages and wisdom, okay? But uh, be willing to let go of what we need to let go of or, you know, create boundaries where we need to create boundaries. Um, what else for Scorpio? So we do have a... Uh, we do, we really have a lot of creative things going on here. Um, Scorpio, some of you guys do need to make room for something new. So new ideas, new inspiration, new messages from heaven, from Jesus, from God, the universe, your angels, <clears throat> your ancient ancestors can come through here. Now, some of you, you may have the a real skill in mediumship. And so there may be a strong connection here to your um, ancestors, uh, especially when it comes to the female side here. I do see something for some of you guys <clears throat> healing something here too when it comes to family or a strong woman influence in one's life here, okay? But I do see uh, also a situation for a lot of you guys preparing for some type of new commitment in one life, coming into you know, a new sense of oneself here and appreciating your own divinity. You're being inspired to write, to create, to share your thoughts, and to nurture this, okay? A lot of you guys, I'm just getting your energy right now is Queen of Cups coming through here. <clears throat> Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So you are realizing that something is, um, you know, stirring in your heart. Something is rising up within you, so follow that, okay? Follow your intuition, too, when it comes to things that you want to express, now, some, not all, but you could be getting some type of communication, messages, email, text, whatever. That could be a, a, a female influence here, right? Mother, wife, sister, daughter. That's significant, okay? Where we either have had to heal or we're healing or we're really coming into and honoring our own feminine divinity, whether you're male or female, and balancing something out here, right? Balance career and home life. What else? Yeah, see, fertility, you guys are getting ready to really produce a lot in your life. So be willing to, you know, make room for some new abundance, new things, plant new seeds. So we do need to make some type of room here. We, we need to create something here for yourself, something new, so something new can enter. Some of you guys pay attention to, <clears throat> you know, your dreams right now and what you're being inspired by. We got this card of fertility. Okay, now is the time to really give into, you know, producing things, creating things. Okay, give, give your ideas <clears throat> and give yourself um, the room to really be nurtured so that you can grow. So spirit is saying, whatever you guys 
lay down right now, whatever you are putting in that is new or that you're nurturing will be very fruitful for you. Okay. What else? So Scorpio, this is a general reading. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out past messages. Those are all timeless. So let's see what else you need to know right now. Mm, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Six of wands. I mean, more about you guys producing uh, abundance in one life in one's life here. Yes, and shining your inner light. Moment of glory. There, there really is something about some of you guys really honoring, you know, some type of radiance that's coming from within you. Okay. Um, I'm just, again, getting like this queen of cups type of energy, whether you're male or female, but that is an energy that is very radiant, very fluid, uh, psychic, you know, she is a psychic visionary. She's also doing things here um, that are very uh, meaningful, healing, inspiring to others here, but most importantly, nurturing something that's going on here with oneself, really following one's true desires too, when it comes to what feels good in your heart, right? Spirit is saying some of you guys really just need to be in a place of basking in some type of moment of glory here, okay? So something is happening where a lot of you, you know, you might find um, yourself being more attractive or, you know, things are just going awesome here. You could be having more influence, especially when it comes to, you know, your career or whatever path that you're on here that puts you out there. Um, bask in it, okay? Okay. Your moment of glory here. And also, I love this card of fertility with the six of wands because I'm just seeing you, you know, having this high energy going on here with the six of wands and flourishing and really just, you know, easily, <laughs> easily dropping new seeds in your new garden here. Yeah, expect a lot of you know, abundance or improvement when it comes to feeling abundant in one's life or feeling a sense of being successful. Um, there could be a strong sense of some of you, not all of you, but for the females or I guess the males, something here with, um, you know, maybe pregnancy, childbirthing or childbearing or something like that. Okay. And I'm seeing success in that as well. Uh, but that is not going to resonate for a lot of you. Okay, just some of you. Anyhow, let's continue and see what else uh, you need to know right now about your situation. We got fire sign coming through. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, for those of you Sagittarius that are hopeful or wanting some type of situation to happen when it comes to your love life, just continue seeking balance with yourself right now. And it's going to happen. Okay. Take some time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing or striving. So, oh, wow. <laughs> we need more breaks. Um, some of you need to figure something out when it comes to taking breaks or changing sceneries, <clears throat> making sure that you are implementing time or some type of schedule here to get outdoors. Whatever you guys can do to re-energize oneself, because I do see um, a lot of you Scorpios, you know, putting a lot of work and effort into something here, whether it's your career or something that you're passionate about or, or just the things that you got to do. Um, but uh, you, you, you're, you're not, there's something going on here for some of you guys with really trying to understand that you need to take breaks, long enough breaks so that you can really, um, be in a place of appreciating all that you've done, you, you, you know, your fruits of your labor thus far. So don't keep striving, you know, yes. Okay. So the other thing that I want to say about that is also <clears throat> getting the right fuel, right? So when you guys are, you know, there may be something going on here for some of you Scorpios with realizing that um, you, you, you might think that you're getting a lot done by staying on a strict schedule or doing as much as you can, but you'll actually find that if you could take longer breaks <laughs> in between and get that rest you need, you'll be able to accomplish a lot more and, um, and have it be a, 
uh, of quality as well okay so make sure that you guys are really taking some time out to balance your life out and taking enough time to rest and recuperate or play okay i do feel a lot of you scorpios need to take more time out to play and get playful oh my gosh oh my goodness scorpio do you know what just came out afterward just had this talk about you and working too hard or just making sure that you guys whatever you're doing that you're taking breaks guess what ten of wands just showed up that is the the exact card of burnout okay we're tired some of you just realize you are having you know you are completing something so you know do what you guys can do but uh, it could be some of you you know you could be blocking your own progress here by just taking on too much Okay, so figure out what your passions are your, and what's, you know, what your ambitions and your desires are right now because ambition is a good servant, but a bad master. Okay, so we got to flip something around. We got to get back to a place where we're feeling inspired. We're feeling nurtured. We're feeling, you know, replenished so that we can give to situations and others, especially the ones that we love and the things that we are doing and creating. Take some time out. Some of you need to figure out what you're loyal to as well. So balance. Balance is a big thing right now, um, Scorpio. Ten, um, fire sign is coming through here. What else? <clears throat> oh, man. You guys got, oh, you do got a lot going on. Woo! Detach from some type of drama, okay? So whether we're observing it, watching it, in it, dabbling in it, <laughs> be willing to... Yeah, I just keep, keep looking at that sword here with Archangel Michael. It's like I was getting this thing about you guys having to be strong. And here we've got um, Athena <laughs> with the sword. It, you know, doing what you guys know that's right. Okay. It's exhausting. It's taking away from your energy. Um, because there's something that spirit is wanting you guys to focus on. Focusing on being in the limelight or just feeling successful. Feeling a, a sense of... Um, vitality as well because some of you guys you might be really needing that right especially because we are in that ten of wands type of energy so get the rest you guys need now because i i do see you know something happening here where a lot of you guys are going to stand out by um honoring and taking care of yourself okay so detach from drama okay you don't need that anyways let it go there may be something here going on with someone, could be a female for some of you guys, that we've had some type of hardship with. So be willing to let it go, heal oneself, forgive, right? You got to do whatever you guys got to do to let go of anything. Maybe let go of trying to figure out an outcome as well, because I do see a, a lot going on here with you guys um, getting ready to uh, create new things in one's reality here. Okay, have compassion for yourself and others. You know, a lot of you are coming from a more wise place, I guess, uh, than others, right? And so be willing to see from a higher perspective. Um, but pay attention to, you know, some of you guys do need to say no to others' demands, okay? Because I feel some of you guys are feeling more responsibility um, than you need to take on. Let it go. Yeah, let it go. We got a lot of wands here. What else for Scorpio? Yeah, Page of Cups. I just knew it. You got, I mean, it's it's time for you guys to explore something new, to have a, a, a sense of innocence, okay? Get ready for some surprising insights as well. And, um, you know, for some of you guys, I do see a strong sense of love, messages, communication, okay, or invitations to um, do something that you could fall in love with, okay, if that's something that you want, because you should be falling in love with something here, especially when it comes to what you guys got going on here, because I see a wise one. Um, yeah, you guys really do need to conserve your energy as much as possible right now. Um, some of you guys are going to have to, you guys are at a new place of learning that too. And it may challenge you, but for the most part, I feel some of you Scorpios feel like you've been buried down or bogged down. And now spirit really wants you guys to come up for air. Okay. And feel some type of relief and, and um, 
you know, some type of newness here because I, I do sense a lot of you guys got a lot of creative things happening here. Um, and you need to explore that. I, I also see a lot of you guys on a quest for wisdom and you are absolutely on the route to receiving the wisdom that you guys are set out to, you know, that you, you're setting yourself to get here. Abundant harvest and conserving energy. We were talking a lot about abundant harvest. <laughs> It's like you guys are just going to keep, uh, you know, it's like, okay, you plant your, your new seeds and you've got this, um, <clears throat> you got all your fruit here and we get to, uh, we get to pick all our fruit and we get to bask in it, right? Be proud of yourself. And, and then we get to do it again from the fruits that you have before planting more. <clears throat> someone's heading your way too for some of you guys it could be a younger type energy here it will be a very gentle um, energy I feel a lot of you might be students in something or you may feel like a student right at a new I would just say like a new phase in your life um, yeah so be willing to you know do things that you're learning right now that is um, really benefiting you guys for balance and um, start implementing that okay let's see what else and I do see, um, you know, improvement in money or getting maybe, you know, something started here, maybe a gift of money or some type of gift of resource that could go a long way. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> I just had a feeling, yeah, this is all about you guys really making these decisions for balance. Um, also, you know... <laughs> Mm. righted wrongs here truth natural law you guys know what is right for you okay and you know what you guys need to let go of uh, because we do we are at a place where we need to make a decision because there's something that is weighing heavy on you or there's a lot going on where we have to create we have to assert oneself and be strong and create some type of room and be um, wise in those decisions okay could be something with contracts, documents too as well. Libra energy is coming through. I want a little bit more about this justice card as well. Some of you guys are going to see a truth about a situation, a person here. Um, You know, there could be something with receiving like some type of maybe letter or something written. Um, apologies or some type of, um, you know, maybe peaceful resolution here possibly. Let's get a little bit more with justice. You guys, seriously, do it. Do what you guys know is right for you. I'm going to tell you why. It's not only justice, but we got uh, like the wheel of fortune here. Positive change. Okay. Positive change. It is time to have things right and it's time to have things balanced. So do what you guys know is right for you. That's best and noble for all involved. Now, some of you guys, it's just really about you guys really maintaining your determination, your strength. Also, I am seeing a lot of you guys, the love that you guys actually hold within you, um, Scorpio is really your greatest quality here. It's like your greatest strength here. There's just something about Scorpio's presence that really commands attention as well. <laughs> okay. So I'm seeing some type of um, situation being made right here, no matter what. Okay. You guys, oh, Scorpio, who do some of you guys, hmm, you may resonate with Sagittarius's reading in this series, possibly. Yeah, we're having some type of karmic balance happening here, right? We're, we're releasing some type of... Um, cycles right whatever you guys want to call it cycle karmic whatever okay <clears throat> you're you're over some type of repetitiveness you're ready for change you're ready for positive changes some of you when it some of you just let go of the outcome and expect the best for you and know that justice will take place especially if you do feel that you've been in you know you've been wronged okay because we do need to let that go um, having forgiveness for yourself and others, no matter, you know, what will bring some type of peaceful resolution. Okay. And you just need to trust that spirit is working on your behalf to make things turn around for you. 
some of you guys are really going to come into some strong partnership okay i see that and you may feel that it's been the you know, like a person that is you know that you've been praying for because you have what else <clears throat> right now let it go find the the blessings in your current situation right some of you guys, it's, you will be challenged right now. What you're being challenged with too is where you're spending your time and your energy right now, figuring out what is uh, taking away from you and what can help you guys feel a, a sense of expansion. Um, there could be some truth that could, could come out or already has come out, but right now you've got to just focus on your blessings, right? Stay in this, this sense of moment of glory. See how far you guys really have come because you have been working hard, but Spirit says... Um, you know, Scorpio, you guys have been doing a lot of work and effort. Will you, will you take a little time out and actually enjoy the fruits of your labor without, you know, feeling like you have to keep pushing and striving? So do that. What else? Oh, I got these two. Okay. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of uh, work. You know, we got this balance, your career and home life. Oh my gosh. So some of you guys are probably going through a lot of changes or figuring things out for yourself. And that's a good thing. Some of you might feel like you need to, yeah, just disengage from your regular routine just to give yourself a little bit of a break. Okay. Wherever you guys can have or go to a sacred space, even if it's for a few hours, you know, or one hour or maybe even a half hour, be willing to, you know, disconnect from technology completely and just sit with nature or just sit with, you know, your own thoughts and visions, um, connect with the divine during that time. Um, you'll, you know, maybe at first it'll, it'll feel like, you know, a little hard for some of you guys, but the more you just be at ease, uh, the better you're going to start to feel. Okay. It's really important for you guys to unplug so that you can feel a sense of being recharged, make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right for you. Okay. We were talking about this. I'm reading off this card here. We were talking about this for your positive changes, you know, detach from drama. You can do it. We got justice here. Make a stand for what you believe and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Okay. Cause some of you guys, you might be feeling like guilty to say no, and you're really just going to have to work through that. Okay. Cause you know, we need to figure out, you know, we got to figure out balance. We got to figure out, um, where our time and our energy might be taken advantage of or being wasted. Okay. Now, some of you, obviously when you're working, you know, we get to a point where we have to rest and recuperate because we do work hard. Um, but I see a significant change happening here. Okay. So spirit is asking you guys to start implementing something different and something new into your life that makes and creates space for you. Okay. What else for Scorpio? Wow. I think I already said this and I think spirit really wants you guys to see this. Um, your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. This is very um, interesting. It, we have two cards, different cards here talking about a bad master, right? Ambition is a good servant, but a bad master. We've been mis you're misplacing you know, your loyalty and your faithfulness is being misplaced by serving too many masters. Here you are taking charge of a situation, right? Doing what you know is right for you and making a stand and not giving a crap about what others think. Okay. Also for some of you Scorpios, don't allow people to emotionally manipulate you and make you feel bad or guilty. Say no to that. You need to honor yourself right now. It's not about feeling guilty. It's about taking a stand for what's right for you guys and knowing what you can handle and what you can't handle because yes, spirit is gifting you guys a new situation here. Okay. Cause it's time. Something is out of balance. So be in the, be in, you know, be inspired by riding on spirits back. Okay. And taking charge of your life wherever you guys need to. Some of you guys just need to learn how to say no 
just just be able to say no without even concealing the truth about it. Just no, I don't want to or, you know, no, that's it. What else for Scorpio? Work your magic. See, you're, you guys are, you're done with this situation. Something new wants to enter your life. Stay focused. <laughs> Be willing to write, okay? Whatever you guys feel inspired to write here. You have a gift, okay? You really do have a gift. So be willing to work your magic. You know what you guys got to do to stay focused or what can inspire you. Maybe some of you guys are being inspired to learn more about, you know, the law of attraction, creating, or just maybe, you know, some of you guys actually have a new, you, you may have a new toy coming your way too that, that, may, that might make you guys feel magic in your life. Make, it may make you guys feel kid-like. So welcome that, you know, play, have fun. What else? <clears throat> well, of course Jesus is here. Kuan Yin. Okay. I was getting that the Queen of Cups, King of Cups type of energy, which, you know, is a healer. Yeah. The, the experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. You guys are meant and destined for bigger and better things. Your services. Okay. Some of you guys are doing things right now because that's what you think you should be doing, but your, your, your abilities are being enhanced. You're improving which means we do need to make some changes and, and maybe um, for some of you guys, you know, you might have miscalculated um, your time and your energy. So just refocus on, you know, what's giving you guys the best results in life. Stay positive as much as possible, okay? We can't always expect all, everything to always go our way, but you can uh, be in charge of your own reaction to how things are going. So yeah, you guys have really going through some stuff. Okay, but you're fulfilling your purpose as a healer, someone that can just help um, others in some facet, and that's a gift. So you really need to honor that. What else for Scorpio? Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. Look, find the blessings in your current situation. Yeah, so refocus, refocus, you guys. If so, you know, and, and again, watching, observing, paying attention to drama only makes us feel that we should complain, right? So pay attention to where our energy is being taken advantage of or being drawn to, okay? Keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously. You know, I was getting this thing about you guys just being like a kid or childlike, just laugh at it, okay? And know that you guys really are being loved and guided by spirit, um, don't take things so seriously. Just laugh, okay? Maybe even write about it if you need to. And, and, and you know, for some of you guys, especially when it comes to healing, maybe writing it out just to get it out, okay? What else? <clears throat> Drink some water. Oh, my goodness. And, oh, yeah, some of you guys, you might be, yeah, wanting to take better care of yourself. Maybe you guys want to try a new hairstyle. Maybe there's something about shape-shifting here, too, because a lot of you guys are figuring something new out for yourself, or it's just about you guys, um, you know, adapting right now, being adept to what's going on in your surroundings, because you do have these changes that are happening here. So be willing to kind of take on some different um you know, mannerisms or, you know, maybe you guys want to try on things, uh, try on different types of clothes or do your hair different, you know, do something different. It's all about different, uh, drink water here. Cause uh, again, some of you guys, you know, it's about nurturing yourself here, taking care of yourself, nurturing, you know, think about this, your soul, your body, this garden fertility. So we got to water that garden, right? Um, and a lot of you guys, channelers, healers, you know, so make sure that you are staying hydrated and taking care of yourself. I feel a lot of you guys are going to experience a new sense of love for yourself or, you know, really, um, you know, just really tending to yourself and honoring it. But I was also noticing, <clears throat> it's like a compass, right? Or a sun. 
But I'm just also seeing like a wheel of fortune on her too. <laughs> Look at the wheel, the wheel behind here, right? So spirit is saying, just drink water, take care of yourself right now. Just kind of blend into your environment if you need to, because a lot of you guys are just, you know, you're experiencing some new things or tremendous changes, okay? So you kind of want to try on different things, blend into your environment um, and take care of yourself. Make sure you guys are staying hydrated. What else for Scorpio? And dance. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys need to maybe move some energy within you, especially if you feel that energy has been a little bit stagnant within you. Um, but yeah, maybe some of you guys are really gifted in dancing. And I just have to really mention this too, that you really are surrounded, completely surrounded by your angels, by ascended masters, guides, God and Jesus. You're completely surrounded. Dance with them, okay? Be willing to turn on the music and shake the booty. You need to shake the booty, okay? Dance. Move the body. What else? And that'll also help you guys um, get re-energized, maybe even get some creative juices flowing here so you guys have, um, you know, new seeds to plant <laughs> for new things in your life. Get clear on your intentions and stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal. Yeah, Spirit's saying you guys can do it, you know, you know, you know what's right for you guys and you know what's also distracting you or that could be taking things away from you. So be willing to do what you guys got to do right now. Stay clear about things. Okay. Some of you, um, be willing to just kind of have a beginner's mind if you need to as well and have patience with yourself. Um, some of you may even have, yeah, there's something going on here for some of you guys with a really moody, moody person <laughs> or moody people, maybe children too. Um, you know, just kind of, you know, detach, uh, do what you guys got to do right now to kind of, um, stay at peace with oneself here. Okay. Uh, what else? Stargaze. Some of you guys, yeah, just remembering where you really come from, the heavens above. Stargaze, take some time out of your normal routine. Re you know, remember I was saying maybe, you know, put the electronics away, your phone, your computer, everything, gosh, detach from it and go outside, you know, at nighttime, daytime, whatever, okay? Stargaze, be inspired by that and see what happens here, okay? And also just remember, yes, <laughs> your star sisters and brothers are up there in the heavens watching over you. What else? Yeah, you guys need more freedom right now. You need more room to grow. You need, you need to let go of something. What is it? Or things? I don't know. A few things? I don't know. But this is about you guys feeling a sense of freedom. Maybe even freedom to explore what you really like in your life. Sometimes when we're so influenced or involved with others, we, 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 can, we can tend to lose ourself a bit, right? And we kind of have to like go, whoa, what do I like? What, wait, what do I like? What, you know, so, you know, take time to explore. See this as quality time. Every, anytime you, you're feeling alone or need to be alone, see that as quality time with yourself, getting to know yourself better, getting to know, um, you know, your higher self, God, Jesus, whatever, the spiritual realm, you know, but spirit also does not want any of you guys to feel bad or guilty for choosing time for yourself if you need to, choosing freedom when you need to, okay? Pay attention to the things that you've been conditioned to believe as well for some of you Scorpios. Oh my goodness, health and healing. Okay, so some of you too, be open to new modality, a uh, newer or different or just honor all types of healing modalities at this time. So spirit is asking uh, some of you Scorpios not to um, be judgmental when it comes to different types of healing, okay? Um, but yeah, we've got this whole focus about you guys doing things that keep you balanced, right? Healthy, feeling good and radiant about yourself. It is a time to focus on health and healing, okay? And I do, again, I mean, we had this message about you guys going through powerful shifts, powerful changes because you're fulfilling your life as a healer, your purpose as a healer. Okay, so 
Ah, I, I see some of you guys actually learning new things too to implement for yourself and others. What else for Scorpio? Well, well, well. Yep. You guys, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, there's peace. Look, choose peace. Yeah, detach from drama. Father, husband, um, brother, son. It's the match to the mother, wife, sister, and daughter. So there is a great blessing here when it comes to the right energies, the right partnership, and where, wherever we need, okay? Um, Scorpio, I just want to say one more time that maybe some of you guys, you got to figure out when we got to take on the feminine or the masculine energy within oneself here, okay? And take charge of a situation and not be afraid. Some of you guys might even be a little bit afraid of your own creation here. Um, don't be, don't hold yourself back, you know. Uh, again, some of you, just hear me out. Be willing to spend some time by yourself to find out what you like about you, okay? And don't worry about anything or anyone else. When the time is right, it's going to happen. Um, so wherever, uh, this is the thing, Scorpio, you guys are creating blessings when it comes to the right people that are going to help you and make you feel um, loved, supported, okay? A tribe. You're going to be blessed with a good woman and a good man in your life. And you need to just honor that and trust that. Especially where we may have had maybe a not so good mother or a not so good father or a husband, brother, whatever, whatever situation you had to go through in the past or whatever. I do see a situation um, for some of you guys. Yes, maybe healing, maybe um, apologies, maybe understanding where we've had misunderstandings, right? Between another, but also remember to choose peace. When you guys are choosing peace, the wheel is turning here. Someone is coming towards you as well. So, um, for those of you guys uh, out there, when it comes to some type of partnership in your life that you desire or want or wish or know that it's there for you, don't give up. Just keep choosing peace. The right person is going to show up in your life. Okay. What else? Crystals. Yeah, a lot of you guys are... Um, <laughs> okay. So a lot of you guys have a strong connection to crystals and maybe it'll help you guys feel grounded. You know, utilize it for healing, for amplifying energy, for clearing energy, or to help you guys with your, you know, faith and trust here. Um, but also very healing for oneself as well. So be willing to connect with earth energies right now. Do whatever you guys got to do to feel grounded so that you can really uh, sense, um, you know, the angels and Mother Earth and Father Spirit, Father God here, really surrounding and loving you and um, showing you the way, even if some of you guys feel lost, okay? Doors are opening up for you. Really important doors. Ooh, who, what other sign had that? Let me think, let me think. Was it Capricorn? Some of you guys, maybe Capricorn? may have Capricorn placements in your chart. Um, so you might resonate with that reading as well, but just do what you guys want to do. Let's see what else for Scorpio. Ritual. Yeah, create a sacred space. Um, so it is going to be important for you guys, especially with changes. Have some type of ritual, whether it's like stargazing, meditating, writing, journaling, prayer, uh, devotion time, time for, you know, working your magic. Oh, look at you guys. Look at that. That is so perfect. Oh my goodness. Look at the cards. Okay. Yeah. Ritual, working your magic. Okay. This, come on, come on, Scorpio. You can see what's going on here, right? Focus, intention. Also, this is you guys planting those seeds. Okay. So have patience. I was just talking to my mother <laughs> about these dreams that I had for myself that I, that I, I was just telling her 14 years ago, the seeds that I planted are now here. Everything that I wanted has come to fruition in my life. Okay. I'm telling you to have patience as well when it comes to your garden of dreams, your garden of creation. 
Okay, so let's see. What else for Scorpio? And I'm not saying that you guys are going to have to wait 14 years because <laughs> there's been a lot that has happened within those 14 years. But what I'm saying is it's very important to plant these seeds now so that there's a direction for you and spirit for Jesus to work with you, okay, on creating a very peaceful, good life. Yeah, focus and learn. Oh, yeah. Okay, so some of you guys. Now, I do see that there might be a situation for a lot of you right now that Scorpio, maybe you're feeling overwhelmed and you don't know how to, you know, take on that everything we've got going on. So be willing to just focus on one or two things and just get those done. Okay. Don't try to overwhelm yourself with 10 different things. Try to just break it down to one or two things. Okay. Now, Remember this thing that we're talking about creating space and, and, and scenery here? So some of you guys, maybe you have a gift with, um, you know, a photography or just be willing to get your camera out. Okay, maybe just not even the cell phone or just use your, you know, cell phone for the phone, for the camera part and not get distracted by other things on the cell phone though. Okay, but maybe go out there and start taking like nature pictures or pictures uh, that you, that are, you're inspired by. Okay, you there's a lot going on here because then you're in the present moment, you're capturing something and, um, and also it's helping you guys focus. <laughs> See that? So you do need to focus, right? And we even have that message with the, um, cheetah, stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal and stay focused on learning here and be willing to learn. Okay. Don't let things get at you or distract you. Don't have to learn everything at one time one little baby step at a time if you need to okay so indulge in learning something especially when it comes to helping you and aiding you yeah because i'm kind of seeing some of you guys you're doing a lot of you know work and stuff and maybe we just we don't have any time right now or we can't see yet how to make some room for play time study time learning something new but you will what else Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how spirit is helping you, Scorpio. How is spirit helping Scorpio? <clears throat> Putting the pieces of the puzzle together. You guys are figuring it out. But, you're, you know, just take one piece at a time, okay? Something is going to come to into focus for you guys when it comes to figuring something out, right? Maybe some of you guys, you feel like things have been kind of like a mix match for you, but you just need to honor that that might have been for your own protection, okay? But you are putting the pieces of the puzzle together and figuring things out. And I love this because I do see a lot of you guys, you know, figuring things out for yourself too, right? With balancing one's life, making good decisions, honoring um, new things to enter into our life here that are good for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spirit's helping you guys um, put things together, the right things together. Let's get maybe one more. Let's get one more. Oh, and baking, being just being in the present moment, staying focused here. Maybe some of you guys learning, maybe something with culinary, uh, baking, whatever. Okay, isn't that culinary? I don't know. Anyhow, uh, bake. Some of you guys, maybe it's been a while. I used to love, I, I used to really love baking and it was very therapeutic, but like once I got started, I couldn't stop. Um, but I feel there's more, it's more about your guys's hands. Okay. Your healing hands, but it's like putting things, creating things, making things right now and giving yourself time for yourself and a treat for yourself. Okay. And not feeling guilty. Okay. About anything. I don't know why I keep picking up something about you guys feeling guilty or bad about stuff and you just need to, you know, knock it off. Give yourself a break and relax, okay? So anyhow, I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.